So this is problem 10 from the spring 25 AMATIC uh, student math league contest. Question says in the sequence A1, A2, up to A7 of positive integers, A1, A2, A3, and A5, A6, A7, each form a geometric progression. A3, A4, A5 form an arithmetic progression. And we have A1 equals 5 and A7 equals 228. We're supposed to find A4. Okay. So what we're going to get here, well, we know A1 is 5. Let's just start with that. A1 is 5. And then A1, A2, A3 is a geometric progression. So that means there's a constant ratio. So A2, let's call this, how about, uh, how about K times 5? Let's do it the other way. Let's do 5 times K. Let's multiply by K. So A2 is 5K. A3, I multiply by the same thing, 5K squared. So I don't know what that ratio is here. Now, one thing we can note here is we're supposed to get all of a1 through a7 are positive integers. So 5k has to be a positive integer. 5k squared has to be a positive integer. So k can't be fractional because there's no squares in 5. So what we get here, if you think about this, is k um, is an integer. It's got to be greater than or equal to 1. Couldn't be 0 because I'm going to get 0 and 0 here, and that's not positive. If you did one, it's kind of weird. It would work out 5, 5. That works out just fine. Okay, now a, once we get a3, we can get a4, a5. This is an arithmetic progression, and that means the difference is the same between terms. So we really add the same thing. Let's call that d. So we start with 5k squared from a3. I'm going to add d to get to a4, and then get to a5, 5k squared plus 2d. And now let's think about what d has to be. Well, 5k squared, this is some positive integer. If I add something to that, and I get another positive integer, that means d is an integer. Now, d could be really negative here. I mean, like 5k squared could be, uh, let's see, k squared, k could be 10, k squared would be 100, that'd give me 500. And then I could add to that, say, negative 3 would give me 497. Something like that. So I could really, the way this is written, have d be an integer. could be negative. And now once I have a5, a5, a6, a7, this is another geometric progression. So what I'm going to get, let's call this ratio t. So let's do t times, whoops, t times 5k squared plus 2d. And then a7, I have to multiply by t again from a6. So really the ratio between a6 and a5, same as the ratio between a7 and a6. So I get t squared, 5k squared plus 2d. And this a7 is supposed to equal 228. Okay, now let's talk about a couple of assumptions that are made here. It actually turns out that this question is not well posed. So a couple things here is believe that the assumption here is that the people writing this question really don't want to think of a geometric progression as 5, 5, 5. So they're really saying, I don't want k to be 1. They probably mean k at least 2. So sort of something interesting happens. Um, yeah, interesting, kind of a weird word there, but sometimes what people would say. Um, d, OK, so d is an integer. My guess is the assumption was that this is a positive integer. And the bigger one here is this t, the way it's written, it's a geometric progression. All I need is a5, a6, a7 are positive integers. And so t itself doesn't have to be an integer. I could be you know, t squared times something could be 228. So I could get like 228 times 4 here, and then multiply by a half, and then multiply by a fourth, and give me 228. That would work. My guess is the assumption they're making is t is an integer. So we're going to make those assumptions, and we'll see kind of how to get an answer. And it'll match one up here, but then we'll talk about how there's other things that you could do, which says more information should have been given in the question. So once we make those assumptions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 228. I'm going to factor this. 228 is 2 times 114. Uh, 114 is 2 times 57. Uh, 57 is 3 times 19. So 228 is 2 squared times 3 times 19. So that's my factorization of 228. And if I look at t squared times 5k squared plus 2d, well, this square part 
here has got to then be the two squared part, or maybe it's one. So what we're going to get here is because of the way this factors, t is one or two. Now if t was one, I would have to get 5k squared plus 2d. Let's see, 5k squared plus 2d would have to be, so let's do this, t equals one, that gives me 5k squared plus 2d is 228. And let's see, would this work out? Um, well, you might be able to do this. Again, maybe I don't even want to do t equals one here. I'm going to assume t is at least two here. t is not one, so t is an integer probably greater than or equal to two. Again, if you did t equals one, you'd get just get the same three numbers in a row here. Um, let's Well, let's see if this actually works out. 5k squared plus 2d equals 228. What I'd have to do, well, let's use our calculator and search for an answer. So I'm going to clear out something from before. 5k squared plus 2d equals two, uh, 5k squared plus 2d equals 228. We know d is an integer. This solves for d equals 228 minus 5k squared over 2. And so what I'm going to do is put this in with an x where the k is in my calculator. 228 minus 5x squared divided by 2. And then I'm going to use my table. I'm going to go to table. Here's 1, 2. Ah, we already get a sort of a number that appears to work. x is 2. So we say d, well, I forget what k was, 2. And d would be the 104. Let's see if that actually works out. So if you did k is 2, um, d is 104. Let's say this was t equals 1. So what we get then, so we get k is 2, that's 420, 228. Um, so what we'd get is, in that case, this would be 228. Our t was 1, so we get 228. We'd get 228. A 4, we're going to subtract our d. <coughs> that's 104. So that's 124. I'm going to subtract d again, get 20. And then our k is 2, so we get 10, we get 5. So this sequence here satisfies everything the question says. A4 is 124, but that's not one of our answers. So here's where I'm assuming they're making the assumption that, assuming they're making the assumption, or yeah, I suppose, is that t has to be at least 2. So they're going to say, eh, we don't want that here. But here's one case where this works out. Um, we're going to do t greater than 2, or t equals 2. So if you make all these assumptions, then t equals 2. Um, then what I get here is 5k squared plus 2d has to be uh, 3 times 19 is 57. You can solve this for d. I get d is... 19 minus 5k squared over 2, and then I'm going to use my calculator on that instead. Let's see, 19 minus 5, let's just clear this out, how about? 19 minus 5x for k squared, divide by 2, and I can go to my table, and I can see that, let's see, I get x is 1, so I get a k equals 1, d, sorry, x is 1, d is 7. It's probably not what we want here. d equals 7, because again, we're assuming that this would be 5, 5, 5. Probably they're not going to let us do that here. Oh, and I made a mistake here. Sorry. This would be for 5k squared, so something's not working out. So my mistake here, 5k squared plus 2d. Uh, let's see if we look at this. 5k squared plus 2d, that had to actually be 57. So not 19. This should have been 57. So none of this actually works out. Here's the way it's written. So we'll do 57 minus 5k squared. Well, we can just edit our y equals, change that 19 to a 57, go back to the table, and we get, okay, x equals 1. That's t is 1 again, or k is 1, I'm sorry. Again, we don't really want that. Uh, we can do k equals 3, and then d equals uh, 6. So if you do that, what you would get, let's see, you would get 5 multiplied by 3 
is 15. Multiply by 3 is 45. Add 6 is 51. Add 6 is 57. And we're multiplying by 2 is 114. Multiply by 2 again is 228. And then A4 is 51. So this is presumably what the answer, the, the um, question was looking for. But there are some assumptions that were not stated that were made that to me makes this question ill-posed.